Some internet addresses from the federal government's top secret blacklist of banned websites have been leaked to an overseas internet site. Most of the list contains website addresses for sites which contain child pornography. While the government insists it's not the official blacklist, anti-censorship campaigners say the leak shows that attempts by governments to filter the internet will fail. John Stewart reports. It's a list the government did not want you to see, but today parts of it were freely available on a whistleblower's website called WikiLeaks. The list of websites banned by the Australian Communications Media Authority mostly relate to child pornography, but the list published on WikiLeaks also includes online gambling websites, Wikipedia entries, euthanasia sites and links to YouTube. Anti-censorship campaigners say the leak is proof that the government's internet filter trials are futile. As soon as you try and make something secret, there will be someone who wants it to be not secret, either because they uh, feel politically that it's wrong, that it's secret, or for, for monetary gain. I'm sure that there, uh, there are plenty of people out there who'd pay good money to get their hands on the current list and distribute it amongst people who would find the material of value to them. Stilgarian is a technology writer for the online news site Crikey.com. He says the list also contained some Australian businesses which had nothing offensive on their website but were still on a banned list. Now the story is his website was hacked into a couple of years ago. It was used by organised crime to host illegal material but it's been a long time since that was cleaned up. It's fine but his website is still on the list. The owners of the Brisbane-based dental surgery did not know that their website was on a banned list. We would have not had any foreseeable future with our website because it would have been banned. We would not have even known that it had been banned. It would have come to the point that someone would have tried to access it and they couldn't because we had no idea. The Shadow Minister for Communications, Nick Minchin, says the leaking of parts of the banned list shows just how hard it could be for the government to bring about a mandatory internet filter. So while I condemn uh, completely the leaking of this list, it does point to the potential dangers of pursuing the internet service provider level filtering proposal that Con Senator Conroy uh, is so actively uh, chasing. Government blacklists of websites from Thailand and Denmark have also been leaked on the internet. The Office of the Communications Minister, Stephen Conroy, says the leaking of parts of the blacklist is grossly irresponsible and may be referred to the Australian Federal Police. John Stewart, Lateline.